sometimes I do ask myself a question that what if I didn't achieve my dreams? It's some question that I really need to ask myself, which is the most important thing that mostly motivates me to push harder. Can I get there? But I believe with hard work, determination, I will surely get there. playing football at the age of 10 years. Currently, I play for Ingers Football Club, which is amateur league one. I'm a left fullback. I can also play right fullback. Also come as a central midfielder or central defender or a winger. I'm a utility player. I love playing for left fullback because that's where I grew up playing. That's where I am more relaxed, well controlled and um, have my confidence, full confidence there, everything. <laughs> Defending is related to life in so many ways. Um, defending in the pitch is just like when you're def also defending your, the background of the family you're coming from. that football is similar to what many people are going through in life. There's sometimes you'll be playing, you won't be playing well in the pitch. You'll be thinking that it has ended, that you don't know what, to, you, what you're playing. Sometimes the coach will be complaining, saying you don't know what you're doing, that you need to find another job to do, that football is not your life and all that. But that's challenge. You need to pick up yourself, go home, rethink train harder, work harder, to prove him wrong. So it's a lot of things football has really taught me. The biggest fear of every player here in Nigeria is injury. You, you're left to yourself, you know, taking care of your own injury when you contacted them from the pitch or play, while playing. So it's really a big challenge for each and every player here in Africa, here in Nigeria most especially. When you look around, um, you don't have enough money to treat yourself and um, you're still playing an amateur league. If you're from a family background where you don't have much money, or where you don't have anything from a poor home and all that your career has ended and which is the fear, fear most of every player. In training, you have to play with caution. Not every contact you will go hard on. But playing a match, you have to give your 100% no matter what. Yeah, injury will come, but you are not praying for injury to, to get an injury that very day, but you know, you have to give your 100% you know, to help the team, help the club. In my football career, I want to play for bigger clubs to show myself, to show the world that my talent also counts. I am one of the best players. Where I can be recognized by my nation, with the kind of um, structure and everything we have here, Everybody, every player wants to play in Europe. 
that's where the national team will look upon you to call upon you you know just do your best and make sure that you get there that's all let's be quick let's be quick control pass and go control pass and go quick come on you have a right now my coach Kinsley Obeku, he has really taught me a lot. Hearing his voice when he's shouting in the pitch, if you're not the kind of player that understand, you would think he's um, shouting on you because of your mixtape and all that. I understand his voice. He's just doing all that to make, to keep, to push you more. He wants me to be better. He wants me to be more stronger. He wants me to be playing very good football for him and um, the club also and for my teammate to give them the best. He's one of the best coaches that I've um, you know, played under. My dad used to say to me that I should live a honest life, keep my hands clean, help my friends in any way I can. I've been doing that and it has helped me in many ways. I've been living the life I could, you know, being contented with what I have. I'm grateful for the freedom I'm enjoying right now and I'm grateful for my team. I'm grateful for the kind of friends I have. Um, I'm grateful for my coach I have. I'm grateful for my family, most especially. I'm also grateful to God. Um, I know that life is not, the way I see it is not how I want it to be, but you know, I'm grateful for what I have and I'm grateful for where I'm going to be next. I'm so much grateful. Mm -hmm.